classes and functions and something known as the single responsibility pattern or the single responsibility principle. In short, what this says is that we want to keep all of the code that we're writing small and focused and try not to do too many things at once. So for example, we can look at this function here called process orders. Now it's not super long, but we can see immediately that it's doing a lot of stuff. Like we have a for loop, we're kind of going through these orders, we're doing some kind of filtering here, we're then generating a receipt for these orders, returning the receipts, and like, yes, we can kind of understand what's going on, but again, at first glance, it requires a significant amount of brain power for me to know immediately what this is doing. But let me show you the fixed version of this code and how much easier it is to understand. Okay. So all I've done in this fixed version of the code is I've simply created a few small functions that are just the different operations that we were performing in that larger piece of code. So now if I were to go to my process orders function here, you can see that I can read this for loop and because I've split things into functions, I can just read the function names and understand what this function is doing. 